recognizes the gentleman from Alabama. Mr. Chairman, my amendment would prohibit funds from being used to carry out the District of Columbia's Health Insurance Requirement Amendment Act of 2018. This is essentially the district's version of Obamacare's individual mandate with a few important and troubling distinctions. The mandate requires that all, all residents of the District of Columbia purchase government sanctioned health insurance or pay what the district calls a shared responsibility payment. However, the mandate goes even further by allowing DC authorities to place liens on, seize and sell property of their residents if they are unwilling or unable to pay the tax penalty. Let me repeat, if a DC resident chooses not to purchase the government sanctioned health insurance uh, plan or purchases health insurance that doesn't meet the District of Columbia's preferences, they will now have the authority to impose a tax penalty or seize and sell that person's assets. It, but it gets worse. Every plan available through the DC Health Link covers elective abortion, which means that the mandate forces individuals who don't wish to purchase this cover, coverage to choose between violating their conscience and face a tax penalty or even worse, have their property seized. I'm sure you will hear objections to Congress meddling in these District of Columbia affairs, but I will remind those objectors that Article 1, Section 8, Clause 17 of the Constitution vests Congress, not the D.C. City Council, with the authority to exercise exclusive legislation in all cases whatsoever regarding the district. When the District of Columbia makes it a priority to force the residents to buy insurance coverage they neither want nor need, it is incumbent upon Congress to exercise their constitutional authority and prohibit the use of the funds to carry out this policy. I reserve the balance of my time.